was curious about this. Um, oh, let's put this in for a second. Curious about this component test point, and uh, I remembered that I have a Beckman industrial circuit meet that uses these uh, the same sort of uh, component test. So I looked up in here. And uh, it tells me that uh, if I put a capacitor on this thing and I go to the XY position and then I punch in the, um, let's go to XY, punch in circuit test, that I should see a circular lobe indicating that this is a capacitor, which it is. And I did get something uh, that is very much the single lobe that I uh, expected. Uh, it also tells me if I put a diode in there, I should see a, uh, a break point uh, where I, I hit my, I'll go common and I hit a point where I spike off. We're going to try that in a second. Okay, I've, uh, I've now mounted a diode in this component test point. And I'm going to put this thing in XY mode again. And we're going to hit component test. And what we see is uh, we see a breakpoint where we have forward bias. And then this is negative bias here. Uh, if I reverse the diode, then it would, it would have come in the other way. But that's an indication of a diode. If I put in a resistor, I'd see a 45 degree angle. So I, uh, I tell you what I'll do is I'll, I will make a copy of this uh, Beckman page and, uh, and include it along with the scope so you can use the component trace if you wish. It is functioning. Thank you. Okay, we um, have a signal generator right now that's uh, pumping about uh, 2 point, uh, well, 23.82 megacycles um, into this. Uh, into this reference scope, this B and K 100 megahertz uh, scope I'm using on my bench as a reference, and I'm adjusting my um, my signal to give me four divisions up and down at 50 millivol millivolts per division. I've just now adjusted it, and I'm going to move this probe now off of the scope, and I'm going to move it on to this Tenma 72720. It's also on the 50 millivolt uh, range and has been carefully uh, adjusted for ground. And what we see here is that at 23.8 megacycles, which is uh, above its rated uh, 20 megahertz, we've only come down approximately uh, two tenths of a division at most. Uh, in <clears throat> in terms of uh, bandwidth, um, the scope would have been uh, at 3 dB down would have gotten about 2.8 divisions up. We're nearly th uh, four divisions full, so we've got reserve uh, frequency response on this scope. We could actually go higher before we hit the 3 dB point. So scope is working very well. Um, with the exception of the uh, of the times five um, adjustment for the horizontal, which really isn't much I can do. Now, what I what I have uh, noticed is that this scope is identical in looks to an Imco scope that I have on hand, and um, I have a manual for this Imco scope. I believe both of these scopes were made by the same company, probably Temco uh, Temna. Emco probably bought it from Timna. There's the identical layout on the panel, uh, component test, everything, and I've also looked inside and haven't noticed any differences yet. So what I'm going to do is to provide a copy of this uh, of this Emco manual along with uh, the scope and with a, uh, a set of brand new test probes. There's one of the test probes. Here is the second one. And uh, so you'll have probes, manual, and scope. Um, so good luck bidding, and uh, we'll see you again.